Okay. We, from uh, Greg Gregorio, our news correspondent at TV5, we now move to our next guest, Carlo Carlon. Carlo Carlon is the uh, founder, project founder of Lend the Bike. Good morning, Carlo. Are you uh, on air? Can yes. Uh, good morning, okay, Sir Sito. Good morning. Okay, I can hear. I can hear you, Carlo. And uh, congratulations uh, on being one of those Filipinos who's may taken an initiative to help people, particularly our frontliners. Can you please give us a quick background on what got you to establish Lend the Bike and what is it all about? Okay. Uh, no, uh, March 17, two days after the ECQ was um, declared in NCR, marami kasi ako nakita mga naglalakad na lang ng mga frontliners, mga health workers natin. And then, very timely, may isa akong kaibigan, si Iyo Santiago, he messaged me, sabi niya, bakit hindi ka kaya mag-post at manghingi ng uh, mga, or magtanong sa mga siklistang kaibigan kung may mga willing magpahiram. So sabi ko, sige nga, uh, i-conceptualize ko yan. So on March 17, nag-post ako sa page ko asking if uh, cyclists, especially my friends, are willing to lend their bikes to uh, frontliners who are in need of bike transport at the time. So nagulat ako kasi in a very few hours lang, grabe yung overwhelming yung response ng mga kaibigan ko at saka kahit hindi kaibigan sa Facebook lang. So mula March 17, uh, kinabukasan ka agad nakapagpahiram ako ng personal bike ko sa isang uh, frontliner from Antipolo na nagtatrabaho siya sa Pasig at naglalakad lang. And then from there, nagtuloy-tuloy na siya. And uh, on March 19, I officially created a Facebook community uh, called La Lend a Bike Project. At naging platform ito para maghiraman ang mga pista, magpahiram sa mga nangangailangan natin frontliners and health workers. Okay. In, in fact, uh, Carlo, uh, one of my friends reached out to me. Because uh, sa alam niya na ako nag-iipon ako ng bisikleta. Uh, I, I realized this when we were uh, volunteers in uh, Tacloban uh, during Yolanda. Na even if you had millions of pesos in your pocket, it was useless because you couldn't buy gasoline, you couldn't buy right. anything during that catastrophe. And yung mga talagang nakagalaw ng gusto were the people who had uh, bicycles. Now, uh, as, far, as far as this situation is concerned, where do you plan to take it? Because I was thinking about it this morning, uh, and actually the last three mornings, I was saying, you know, in my conversations with God, I ko, Lord, parang lumamig sa Pilipinas, mas kumalma. And I suppose it's because we have less pollution in Metro Manila that the, the climate or the temperature is uh, a lot milder for a summer. And then it occurred to me, Siguro dapat we should promote more of bike riding from uh, you know among among our employees instead of uh, cars. And there's a proposal from uh, I think Joey Concepcion and some uh, business leaders. Na ang papagalawin lang yung mga mass transit yung uh, mga trains. Uh, given that probability under the uh, e uh, ECQ two. Medyo baka kailangan mas marami ng bisikleta. What, what's your thoughts on this? Okay. Actually, Sir Sito, I have uh, two uh, visions no, for for the cycling uh, community in the Philippines. Number one, uh, sana ma-replicate ito sa ibang uh, lugar. Actually, it's happening already now. May dalawa na pong nag-replicate. One is in Davao, asa ka sa Cebu. Ginagawa nila basically same thing that we are doing here and uh, I'm coordinating with them, I'm guiding them go through this project. But uh, on the more long term, I'm, I've, I've been trying to push for cycling, for bike commuting as an alternative transport. It's good for the environment. Uh, maganda siya, uh, wala siyang damage sa ating uh, environment. Puro benefit lang yung nakukuha, kung na, nakikita kung makukuha natin sa cycling. So sana pagkatapos nito, itong crisis natin ay ma-realize ng gobyerno natin from the national government down to the local government to support cycling and promote cycling as, an, as a transport and promote and at the same time support by building infrastructures. No, katulad ng mga ibang bansa, 
na napuntahan ko na ang gaganda ng kanilang mga uh, bike commuting uh, programs doon kasi supported siya ng infrastructure ng, at ng kanilang mga gobyerno. Yun po yung isang long-term na vision ko po na mangyari dito sa atin. Well, we will surely support you. And, and uh, Carlo, siguro para doon sa mga nagtatanong sa'yo, uh, I know one of the best uh, sources for bikes, cheap bikes, are actually those Japanese surplus stores. Uh, they always have a minimum of 10, 15 bikes. Yung mga bisikleta bang na lost and found sa Japan, sa Taiwan, uh, mm -hmm. mga binasura sa ibang bansa. And, and there, you know, a lot of Filipinos just ignore them. But nowadays, we are realizing they are gold. And yeah. uh, under uh, ECQ2, medyo maghanap na po kayo ng bisikleta. So, Carlo, uh, I just really want to commend you for what you're doing. Uh, you can get my, my direct number from my staff. And uh, let's work together on this because I really believe that uh, we are going to need all the bicycles we can get after the initial uh, quarantine because marami tayong mga empleyado. And by the way, uh, yung aking uh, kapatid sa pananampalataya, Kim Atienza, and my colleague in media, he actually bikes to, the, to, to their studio, I think something like 20 kilometers. And sabi mm -hmm. niya, you know, after a week, manina, kayang-kaya na. Uh, thank you very much, Carlo. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Sito. Okay, that's uh, Carlo Carlon, Land the Bike Project founder and uh, another Filipino trying to do something for the Philippines in COVID-19.